Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Hunger Artist, written by Franz Kafka. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Alright, <clears throat> so, The Hunger Artist, very interesting work here. Uh, basically, you have a guy who's fasting. Um, he's apparently in Europe at some point. Um, fasting it was an art, and the the people that can fast really well um, were like things that people want to go and see. And basically, um, the hunger artist here within this work, he fasts for forty days, and after forty days, everybody's like so like amazed and marvelled, and everybody watches him take his first bite after the forty days of fasting. And it has nothing to do with Christianity or any type of religion, which is interesting, because usually fasting is associated with um, religion, right? Uh, but not in this work. The hunger artist is just fasting for people's entertainment. And uh, after the 40 days, the two young ladies get brought, brought in to take him out of his cage. And there's other people there to help him get out. But he's like, I want to go for more. I want to fast for longer. I want to, um, you know you know, do it because I'm, I'm the best at this. I'm the best hunger artist out there. And yeah, he pretty much was, he, he beats everybody, right? He fasts for 40 days, uh, and he's still alive. I mean, that's, that's kind of really awesome. I mean, it's cool. Right. And the story goes on and basically the hunger artist after a while, nobody cares anymore. Cause honestly, fasting, watching somebody fast is not really that entertaining. I mean, the person is just sitting there or standing there or just in a cage, basically. It's just a man in a cage, just fasting, not eating. That's pretty much it. So it's not really the most entertaining thing you can watch on earth. I mean, there's so many other things. And as the days, the years went along, people got less and less interested uh, with the art of fasting. And the hunger artist, he pretty much goes to work in the circus. He gets a job in the circus. And because there's no more work for him doing it in any other way. Because the only thing he knows how to do is to fast. So that's his occupation. He goes to work for the circus. And then the circus, they put him right in between the tents. So, so there's the tents. And then there's the hunger artist. And then there's the animals. So they put him right in between the tents and the animals. So as people go back and forth, they can see the hunger artist, but nobody cares. Kids are not really interested in a man just fasting. Uh, adults are not interested in that. And there's like, you know, uh, cards to show how many days he's been fasting. But the work is at the circus. They don't, after a while, they don't even care about changing the cards anymore. Nobody cares about the hunger artist. People just pass by. Sometimes people pass by, they look at him, they're like, ooh, ah, but after a while... People just stop caring. People want to see lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. You know, people want to see tricks and, and, you know, people jumping off of high rises and doing twirls and spins and dances and things that um, that are awesome to see. Not just a man sitting in a cage. And pretty much he fasts for so long. He wanted to fast for more than 40 days. And he pretty much does that because everybody forgets about him. Even the circus manager forgets about the hunger artist after a while. Nobody cares about him um, to the point where they're like, hey, why is there an empty cage in the middle of the, the circus and nobody's using it? And then you're like, oh, the hunger artist is in there. Is he still in there? Is he still alive? That's pretty much how it goes down. And the, the circus manager goes in there. He's like, oh, man, this guy is still here. And the hunger artist is like, yeah, yeah, nobody should be, you know, uh, astonished by me or take, take me as someone of importance because the only reason why I'm fasting is because I never found anything that I like to eat. That was the only reason why he was fasting for so long. He never found a favorite food. And so he tells, you know, the circus manager that and his life is of no importance pretty much and he dies and... They get rid of him, and they put some animal in the cage, and everybody comes to see the animal, and the animal gets, like, um, whatever it wants to eat, and it eats with, um, well, however much it wants. I mean, it's a circus animal, and people come to see that circus animal, but the hunger artist, no, nobody went to go see him. In terms of analysis and deeper meaning, I mean, yeah, I mean... It's it's just really bleak. Um, for a lot of Franz Kafka's tales, they don't really have happy endings. 
some of them are absurd and strange and uh, they, they, they show you things that, well, that makes you think, you know. The hunger artist should have stopped while he was ahead. When he was at the height of his fame, he should have took it and went home with it. When he finished the 40 days and everybody was like, oh, ooh, ah, and seeing how great he was, he should have enjoyed it and bask in that glory and then leave the, the spotlight. But um, that's something that to say a lot about, a, a, that's something to say about a lot of artists. Art has its time. Every time period has its own time. Um, when, you know, being a hunger artist was popular, everybody was with it and everybody enjoyed it. When that time was passed, he should have stopped and, and move on. That's how life is. Life is like a river. It just keeps going and going. You cannot stop the river. Even however much you want to. The 80s was the 80s. The 90s was, uh, was the 90s. 2000s, you know. Uh, so it's... The time just keeps going on, you know. Now we're in the 2020s. And so time just keeps moving on and moving on. New music comes out. New art comes out. New movies. New stories. New things. New technologies. And you have to stay with the times. You can't stay in the past and just stick to what you know. This is why I really, really hate when people say, oh, you know, this is what I've known. I've done it for 50 years. There's no way I'm going to change now. Dude, if you if you think like that in this life, you'll be left behind, okay? If you think like, oh, I can't adapt. I can't do this. I can't do that. You're just going to be left behind because that's what life is. You have to adapt as you go along. The people that survive, the people that make it, the people that keep on making it are the people that are like, every day I'm going to get better. I'm going to change. I'm going to learn. I'm going to I'm gonna keep with the times because that's just how life is. It just keeps moving forward. But the hunger artist, he wouldn't move with the times until time moved without him. That's pretty much what happened. He wouldn't move with time, so time moved without him. Um, so very interesting here, um, you know, it's an art that just died out, so um, that's pretty much what happened to the hunger artist, This his isolation, his his sacrifice, it all was for nothing, and it mattered in, it, to nobody, I mean, to him, it was very important, I must fast, I must do it the longest, I must be the best, nobody cared, I mean, at some point, it even stopped mattering to him, because he stopped counting the days he was fasting, so, yeah, yeah, you got to read the room, man. You got to read the room and see what's around you. And then sometimes you got to gotta adapt and move on. But since he couldn't find any food that he likes, since he couldn't adapt, he ends up dying. And, you know, um, that's just how it is. But that's what happens within this work. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.